Hey everyone. El Dorado is Spanish for the golden one and the term refers to a mythical city of great wealth. First mentioned in the 16th century, El Dorado has inspired numerous expeditions, books and even movies. It said that this fable place was located somewhere north of present-day Colombia, making it accessible only during the rainy season. The exact location remains unknown. Today, let's know about the ancient garden of the forgotten city of El Dorado. Let's start the video, but before that, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. In 1594, an English writer and explorer named Sir Walter Raleigh claimed to have found El Dorado. This was listed on the English maps and described as a location found in the north. Situated at an elevation of 1550 meters above sea level, the hill is probably known today as Harakbut. Hundreds of people have searched in vain for El Dorado, a legendary city said to have been the world's first technologically advanced high-tech civilization. According to folklore, the city was made of gold and the inhabitants were thought to have covered themselves in gold dust. They also said to have possessed many magical powers. Those who believe the legend is real think that the city of Paititi, that is El Dorado, and its treasures might be found in the Madre de Dios province of southeastern Peru's mountainous jungle. The Harakbut face is a sacred site in the Harakbut culture, which is located in the Amaracari communal reserve in Madre de Dios, Peru. This monumental stone totem intrigues those few happen to pass by or investigate it, as it depicts a human face. in perfect detail The Harakbut face is a sacred site in the Harakbut culture located in Madre de Dios's Amaracari communal reserve which is in Peru They call it Inca Oak According to Harakbut indigenous in Amaracari language Inca Oak means Inca face Harakbut elders say they are two larger monolithic faces in the forest connected by ancient subterranean passageways leading to a huge ancestral city possibly El Dorado but everyone who knew how to get there has passed away It's difficult to get to the natives hold the location in reverence the area is isolated and inaccessible and you must hack your way through a thicket of rocks and mud in order to reach it all while battling pumas jaguars huge snakes and other dangerous creatures one of the most famous stories about el dorado is a legend of the man behind the face of harakbut the legend goes that the face of harakbut was actually a man who had been cursed by the gods He was turned into a stone statue that guarded the entrance to the city of El Dorado. The man behind the face of Harakbut was said to be the last remaining member of the sacred Harakbut people. He was said to be the guardian of the lost city and its incredible treasures. Many people have tried to find the lost city of El Dorado, but no one has been successful. And the man behind the face of Harakbut remains a mystery. Some believe that he is still out there somewhere guarding the entrance to the lost city. Others believe that he is long gone and that the city of El Dorado is nothing more than a legend. The enigmatic face of Harakbut has been a puzzle since its discovery. He features in the indigenous myths and legends. He might have the key to the secret of the lost city of El Dorado which supposedly predated the Inca Empire. So, was the man behind the Harakbut face the ancient protector of the lost city of El Dorado and its incredible treasures? We might never know. Well, that's it for today. I hope you're liking Nerdy's discoveries. Can't wait for the next video to learn more and be fascinated about. See you on the next. Bye.